In this episode, I'm going to look at a battery charge regulator module. So what this does is it cycles your charger on and off to keep your battery at full charge. And it's ideal for maintaining the charge on your RV vehicles over the winter. So here's our specifications. It can be used to charge anywhere from a 6 to 60 volt battery, both lithium and lead acid type batteries. And uh, your input voltage can be as much as 80 volts. So our input power goes here and our battery under charge goes over here. So how this works is using the left button, you can set your start voltage so that when the battery discharges to that level, it will then begin charging by turning on the relay. And once the battery has reached its full charge voltage, it will then stop the charge. And it will cycle on and off as your battery charges and discharges. So how this charge controller works is it connects to your battery and to your charge source. So if I connect it to the battery, the negative and the positive terminal. So there's the negative terminal to the battery and the positive terminal to the battery. This will tell me the current state of charge of the battery which is 12.5 volts. Now if I want to set this up so that it will charge the battery when the battery drops below a specific voltage, for example if I set my charge voltage to 12 volts my start voltage to 12 volts or 11.9 for example I'll say 12 and I set my stop voltage at 14.5 when I connect this up to my charge source it's already on now So this is going to charge my battery until the battery gets to that voltage, 14 point, I think it was 14.5. I can turn this down, if I set it down to 13.8 for example, it's now off. So now it'll charge when it gets down to 12 volts. Right, I've got it set for 12.0. Right now the battery is at 12.7 volts. If I put a load on this battery to drop, drop the voltage, when it gets to 12 volts, it should start up. So I'm just going to hook up my light to this, my light that draws about seven amps to start. And this should pull the battery voltage down. And there we go, the charger just kicked in. I probably have to set my, uh, my uh, voltage a little higher than this for the, the cutout voltage. Because when the charger comes on, it's going up to 14 volts. Now what will happen is as the battery gets its charge, when it gets to 14.3 it's going to stop so this way if you if you say had your solar panels for example connected to the input as long as the panels are producing enough voltage and the battery is below the the start voltage it will charge once the battery gets up to its full charge it will stop so if i stop drawing my load here this should stop charging there and it just did because the battery has now gotten up to its its charge state this battery is not dead by the way it's a relatively full charge battery if I connect up this light once again start drawing some power from the battery it should kick back into charge again once the voltage drops And there it goes. If I disconnect the battery or disconnect my load, once the voltage gets back up and it determines that the battery is fully charged, depending on what charge voltage you set, 
it will then turn the charge off. That's the charge controller. Available um, with the link in the, the page here. Pretty simple. It just it just keeps your batteries fully charged. It'll stop your battery from overcharging, and you can use it with any type of a charger. Right? It'll work anywhere from six to sixty volts. So ideal for like a, a solar charging system, so that your batteries don't overcharge. It'll stop them from charging when they get fully charged, or if you're using them on like a motorhome or RV or something, to charge your battery when you're plugged in but to stop the charge when the battery gets to a full charge and it'll just automatically turn your charger on and off as needed to keep your battery from becoming overcharged and when it starts to discharge below your preset voltage it will kick it in so if I take my preset voltage from 12 volts if I take it down to like 11.5 for example now the lights gonna have to run a little longer to draw the power down to 11.5 and there it comes on remove the load And when the battery gets back up to 14.3 volts, which it is now, it'll shut off. One last test, I put the load on the battery, and again, once the battery voltage drops, the charger will come on, and it will stay on until the battery reaches the high set voltage. Perfect use for this device, and what I am going to use this one for personally, is to maintain the charge on my Harley over the winter. That way I can leave the charger connected to it, and when the battery voltage drops down below maybe 11 and a half volts, it'll turn on the charger, charge it up to 13.8 volts, and then shut off. I don't have to worry about overcharging the battery, and I can leave it connected all winter and know that in the spring when I pull the bike out, it's going to be ready to go, and I don't have to worry about my battery getting overcharged when it sits on the charger. That's the perfect use for one of these units. Link to this is in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.